வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஈஸி லேர்ன் ஃபன்னி லேர்ன் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் த சேனல் அண்ட் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் ஐக்கான் டு ரிசீவ் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ஹாய் மை டியர் கிட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி சாப்டர் சிக்ஸ் எம்எஸ் பவர் பாயிண்ட் டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் ஃப்ரம் நேஷ்னல் சைபர் ஒலிம்பியாட் என்சிஓ எம்டிஜி ஒர்க் புக் ஆஃப் கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இன் ஸ்லைட் ஷோ த மூமெண்ட் தட் யூ சி வென் ஒன் ஸ்லைட் சேஞ்சஸ் டு அனதர் இஸ் கால்டு எ டேஷ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ டிரான்சிஷன் பி கவர் சி கஸ்டம் ஸ்லைட் ஷோ டி பிளே மீடியா ஸோ இன் ஸ்லைட் ஷோ த மூமெண்ட் தட் யூ சி வென் ஒன் ஸ்லைட் சேஞ்சஸ் டு அனதர் இஸ் கால்டு எ டிரான்சிஷன் ஓகே இஸ் கால்டு எ டிரான்சிஷன் ஸோ ஆப்ஷன் ஏ இஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ செகண்ட் ஒன் டு அப்ளை த டிரான்சிஷன் ஆஃப் த கரண்ட் ஸ்லைட் டு ஆல் த ஸ்லைட்ஸ் இன் த ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் கிளிக் ஸோ ப்ளீஸ் பாஸ் த வீடியோ அண்ட் செக் த ஆப்ஷன் ஏ பி சி அண்ட் டி ஸோ வி நீட் டு கிளிக் ஆன் அப்ளை டு ஆல் ஃபியூச்சர் ஓகே வி நீட் டு கிளிக் ஆன் அப்ளை டு ஆல் ஃபியூச்சர் ஸோ ஆப்ஷன் சி இஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் ஆப்ஷன் சி இட் இஸ் அப்ளை டு ஆல் ஃபியூச்சர் ஆப்ஷன் சி இஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் தேர்ட் ஒன் Which of the following statement hold true regarding the icon marked as A? Statement 1. It plays the slide show in full screen. It is incorrect. Statement 2. It fits slide to current window. It is the correct statement. So option A only statement 1. B only statement 2. C. Both statement 1 and 2. D. Neither statement 1 nor statement 2. So we know statement 1 is incorrect and only statement 2 is correct. So option B is the correct answer. Option B. Okay. Fourth one. Animation schemes can be applied to dash in the presentation. Option A. All slide. B. Selected slide. C. Current slide. D. All of these. So animation scheme can be applied to all slide, selected slide and also current slide. So the correct option is option D all of this. Option D all of this. Option D is the correct answer. Fifth one. Which of the following options of chart tools design tab when clicked will display the data on which the current chart is based on? So please pause the video and check the option A, B, C and D. So option C is the correct answer. Option C. So by using this option of chart tools design tab it will display the data on which the current chart is based on so option C next one which of the following statement is incorrect about the please check the given option of table tools layout tab option A it allows you to change the text orientation to vertical it is the correct statement B. It allows you to rotate the text by 90 degree. It also correct statement. C. It does not allow you to change the text orientation to stack rate is incorrect. It will allow. D. It allows you to rotate the text by 270 degree. It also correct statement. So we need to select the incorrect statement. So option C is the correct answer. Option C. Seventh one. Which of the following option is used to create the custom slide show of the presentation? So we know option B is the correct answer. Option B, this option allow us to create custom slide show of a presentation. So option B is the correct answer. One, which of the following options is? when selected will allow you to use arrow keys to adjust the size of different pans in normal view so please pause the video and check the given option so option b is of move split so it is the correct answer okay option b option b is the correct answer it allows us to use arrow keys to adjust size of different pans in normal view ninth one Which of the following is not a option under setting section of print menu while printing handout? Option A. 4 slides vertical. Option B. 8 slides vertical. 
C3 slide, D2 slides. So, 8 slide vertical is not an option under settings option of print menu while printing handout. Okay. Option B is the correct answer. Option B. 10th one. To go to the backstage view, click the dash. Option A. PowerPoint application button. B. View tab. C. File tab. D. Review tab. So, to go to backstage view, you should click on file tab. Okay. You should click on file tab. So, option C is the correct answer. Option C. 11th one. Which of the following is the correct way to insert slides from the slides pan? Option A. Right click in the slide pan. New slide. B. Left click in the slide pan. Add slide. C. You cannot add new slides from the slides pan. D. Both option A and B. So, we can add new slide by right click in the slide pan and then select new slide. So, option a is the correct answer. Option A. Twelfth one. Which of the following statement hold true about outline pan? Statement 1. A displays list of all slide titles. Correct statement. Statement 2. You can rearrange the slides in this pan. It is also correct statement. So, in outline pan, it displays all list of slide titles and also we can rearrange the slides in this pan. So, option A, only statement 1, B, only statement 2, C, both statement 1 and statement 2, D, neither statement 1 nor statement 1. So, the correct option is option C, both statement 1 and statement 2. Option C is the correct answer. Thirteenth, when you draw the table feature is selected, the mouse pointer appears as dash A bold pen, B arrow, C highlighter, D pencil. So, when the draw table feature is selected, the mouse pointer appears as an pencil. Okay, appear as an pencil. Option D is the correct answer. Option D. Fourteenth, which of the following is not an animation effect? A split. B wipe, C clip, D bounce. So, clip is not a animation effect. Okay, clip is not a animation effect. So, option C is the correct answer. Option C. Fifteenth, which of the following statement is incorrect? Option A, you can apply transition only to the first and last slide. It is the incorrect B. You cannot hide any slide. It is also incorrect. We can hide any slide. And also we can apply transition to all the slide. Okay. Option C. You can create custom animation using animation pan. It is the correct statement. So, we need to select the incorrect statement. So, both option A and B are incorrect. So, option D is the correct answer. Option D. Next achiever section 16th. Identify the following. It is used to copy the animation of one object to another object. Second, pressing Alt Shift plus C activate this feature. So, this is animation painter. So, option C is the correct answer. Option C. Okay. This the given feature is animation painter. So, option C. 17th, press dash or go to dash to insert a new slide. So, to insert a new slide, we need to click Ctrl plus M or Home tab, Slide group and then New slide. So, two options are there either by pressing Ctrl plus M or selecting Home tab, Slide group and then New slide, it will insert a new slide. So, option A is the correct answer. Option A. 18th. An image of animation pan is shown here. What is the area marked by? Number 1 represents. Option A. It indicates more events are collapsed 
B. It means animation will occur on click. C. It is advanced timeline. D. It indicates mouse click. So actually the area marked by number 1 represents advanced timeline. Okay, advanced timeline. So option C is the correct answer. Option C. 19th. Given below is a glimpse of a notes master layout. So please pause the video and please check the given glimpse of a notes master layout. Which of the following placeholder of this layout marked as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are editable? Okay, we need to select which of the following placeholders of this layer marked as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are editable. So, option A, both 1 and 2, B, 1, 2, 3 and 4. C. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. D. None of these. So, please pause the picture and check the given image. 1 is editable. 2 is editable. 3 also editable. 4 also editable. 5 also editable. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All are editable. So, the correct option is option C. Okay. Option C is the correct answer. Last question. 20. What are the function of the given option marked as 1 and 2 appears when hand, handout master view is active? So, 1 is we can switch the slide orientation between portrait and landscape. Second one, help us to set the number of slides of our choice to be displayed on each handout page. Okay. Option 1, switch the slide orientation between portrait and landscape. Option 2, helps you to set the number of slide of your choice to be displayed on each handout page. Now check the option. Option A, 1, helps you to set the number of slide of your choice to be displayed on each handout page. It is incorrect. So we can move to option B, 1. Switch the slide orientation between portrait and landscape. 2. Helps you to select the number of slide of your choice to be displayed on each handout page. So, option B is the correct answer. Option B. Thank you my dear kids for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.